There are some people who think June the 21st is going to see the end of the COVID-19 pandemic. Well, I'm not one of them. I think uh, the lockdown cycle will continue for at least the next few years. Uh, I may be wrong, but we'll soon see, because if Western governments are all intent on doing the exact same things in the near future, uh, which fit into the Great Reset narrative, then it becomes really hard to argue against the idea uh, that this was the plan all along. And there are three main issues which fit the Great Reset theory. Uh, and before the Winston Smiths working at uh, Google's Ministry of Truth uh, pull this video for promoting a conspiracy theory, it really isn't a conspiracy theory uh, when Klaus, Klaus Schwab of the uh, World Economic Forum has actually written about it in a book called The Great Reset. So anyway, the uh, three issues are one, digital ID, uh, sold today as vaccine passports, uh, two, digital currency, uh, and three, universal credit. Now these three represent the basic requirements for a future uh, social credit type of dictatorship, um, where your QR code apt phone, um, stroke microchip, uh, stroke GPS tracker, uh, stroke eavesdropper, stroke bank card, stroke passport, stroke travel pass, stroke entry to the pub pass, stroke entry to your workplace pass, uh, stroke mortgage pass, stroke university uh, pass, stroke access to welfare payments and the NHS pass, uh, stroke big brother now controls every aspect of your life, do not pass go. Uh, in other words, your phone coupled with a uh, digital currency will be used to enslave you, uh, right down to declining payments for the bare essentials of life, which is a huge problem if cash has been banned, and the banning of cash uh, is of course the whole point of digital currency. So it's all about control, it's nothing more and nothing less. Uh, okay, so we know digital ID uh, come vaccine passports are already here, and a little bit of research tells me that digital currency is on its way too. Uh, some countries were mulling the idea of uh, digital currency a few years ago, uh, but this has speeded up massively since the respiratory virus became uh, useful to the wannabe feudal overlords. So let's see what we have here. America. Check. Canada, check. Australia, check. New Zealand, check. European Union, check. Germany's Bundesbank, check. China, check. Britain, check. Now, do you see where we're going here? A digital currency is coming to the West. And if you start Googling the names of countries followed by universal credit, You'll find that uh, this is in the Great Reset Pipeline as well. Uh, so no, June the 21st will not be the end of the nightmare in Britain. Uh, the virus, be it the influenza one or the other one, will reappear in late autumn, early winter, and so the whole misery go round will start again. So I'm going to buy a hat tomorrow, which I'll keep in a box until Christmas, and I'm fairly confident it will remain uneaten because when the entire Western world is united in chasing digital ID, digital currency and universal credit, uh, you know that a public health crisis has been completely hijacked, assuming it ever really existed in terms of a, a genuine killer plague stalking the land uh, anyway, and that the coming events have everything to do with totalitarian politics and absolutely bugger all to do with public health. Now, as everybody knows, YouTube is, uh, is becoming increasingly um, antagonistic towards people who tell the truth. Uh, so many people are moving to the Rumble site, uh, which I will be as well. And underneath this video, um, you will see a link to my new account at Rumble. So if you want to go and sign up to that, I'd be most grateful because I have a distinct feeling I won't be on YouTube for very much longer. It's been incredibly difficult uh, up until now. So see, uh, find me, see me on Rumble. Thank you very much.